Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams are still stuck in space. Despite the recent launch of a return capsule from the International Space Station, the pair who have been at the ISS since June did not catch a ride back to Earth on the agency's SpaceX Crew-8 craft, which successfully returned to Earth October 25th. And as for why Butch and Suni couldn't catch a ride home, because the Crew-8 flight was already assigned to NASA's Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, and Jeanette Epps, as well as Russian cosmonaut Alexander Grebenkin, who have all been on the ISS since March, three months longer than Butch and Suni. The four-person team was part of a regular crew rotation on the ISS and had long been assigned to the Crew-8 flight. In fact, their mission home had already been delayed several times due to bad weather around Florida, preventing the departure of the SpaceX capsule. As for Butch and Suni, who've been stuck at the ISS since their Boeing Starliner experienced equipment failure back in June, their return home will be coming in the new year. As NASA previously announced, the two astronauts will be leaving the ISS on the Crew-9 flight scheduled to depart in February 2025. However, the families of the two NASA crew members don't seem to be too worried about their extended stay in outer space. Back in August, Butch's wife Deanna Wilmore told local Knoxville, Tennessee outlet WVLT, you just sort of have to roll with it and expect the unexpected. He just takes it knowing the Lord's in control and that since the Lord's in control of it, that he's content where he is. As for Suni, her husband Michael Williams told the Wall Street Journal August 9th that he doesn't think she's disappointed to be spending more time at the intergalactic station, saying that's her happy place. Everybody say Texas. Beyonce and Kelly Rowland take the stage in their hometown of Houston. The stars appear at Vice President Kamala Harris's Texas rally at Shell Energy Stadium on October 25th. The women delivering passionate speeches, throwing their support behind Kamala. Beyonce sharing how her experiences with being a mother to her three kids have shaped her. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. A world where we have the freedom to control our bodies. A world where we're not divided. Our past, our present, our future merge to meet us here. And yes, as two-thirds of Destiny's Child reunited in their hometown, they gave H-Town some love and props for being the place where Destiny's Child was formed. You've already had a hand in creating Destiny. So do what you do and do this thing again. Beyonce's official endorsement was expected and comes a little more than a week before the 2024 presidential election. Up until now, the Grammy winner hadn't officially thrown her support behind Kamala as she did with Joe Biden in 2020, Hillary Clinton in 2016, and Barack Obama in 2012. However, it's clear now that Beyonce is officially Team Cowboy Kamala. The singer's appearance comes months after she was a no-show at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago despite rumors that she would perform. B's admiration for the presidential hopeful is no surprise after she gifted Kamala tickets to her Renaissance World Tour last summer. At the time, Kamala even taking to her Instagram to thank Beyonce for the fun date night. B has a history of backing Democratic candidates, having previously performed at Barack Obama's inauguration and a 2016 fundraiser for Hillary Clinton. Eric Menendez's wife is speaking out after a major development in the Menendez brothers' case. 
Tammy Menendez, who married the inmate in 1999, takes to X, formerly Twitter, to share that she has mixed feelings about the Los Angeles District Attorney's recent recommendation that the brothers be resentenced, sharing she wishes the decision, which now heads to a judge, went further. She writes, yesterday was a difficult and emotional day. I am grateful to District Attorney Gascon for his courage to seek resentencing for Eric. I am naturally disappointed he did not go further and act on his own belief that Eric and Lyle have served enough time in prison. On October 24th, the District Attorney revealed he filed a motion to request that a judge resentence the brothers for the 1993 murders of their parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez, amid new evidence that had surfaced in the case that cited alleged sexual abuse that the brothers survived at the hands of their father. Gascon says he believes the brothers have served enough time behind bars. While the abuse claims were prevalent in the brothers' first trial in 1993, which ended in a mistrial, lawyers in the second trial were limited on the evidence and testimony that could be used. That trial ended with the brothers' conviction for first-degree murder. They were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Lyle and Eric were 21 and 18 when they had admitted to killing their parents and have contended that they acted out of self-defense. Tammy and Eric married 25 years ago after she began writing letters to the inmate. In a 2005 interview with People magazine, Eric credited Tammy with helping him endure his time behind bars, telling the magazine, Tammy is what gets me through. I can't think about the sentence. When I do, I do it with a great sadness and a primal fear. I break into a cold sweat. It's so frightening, I just haven't come to terms with it. I am going to protect your Georgia. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris reacts to Maya Rudolph's Saturday Night Live impression of her, and it's clear Kamala is a fan. During her October 8th stop on The View, the Democratic presidential nominee is shown a clip of Maya channeling the VP on SNL's season premiere. And for those who missed it, Maya kicked off the sketch in true Kamala fashion. Well, 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 look who fell out of that coconut tree. <laughs> well, your fun aunt has returned. The fun has been rebooted. Too fun, too furious. Apparently, the vice president also hadn't seen Maya's 2024 take on her yet, and she's impressed. They say that imitation is the highest form of flattery. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Maya Rudolph on SNL, <laughs> the cast of Saturday Night Live is delivering for, uh, for you. I think she's really good. She's spot on. Let's watch her do okay. it. Let's watch her. I am so happy to be campaigning in whatever swing state I'm in, which I will just refer to as Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia. <laughs> Because I am going to protect your Georgia. <laughs> oh my God! Well, you, she did it. Right? Yeah. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? So do you like it? It's fun, right? Maya Rudolph. I mean, she's so good. Yeah. She's so good. Yeah. She had the whole thing, the suit, the jewelry. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. well, well, wait, 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 Georgia. And Kamala's hubby, Doug Emhoff, also loves SNL's recreation of him, with Andy Samberg stepping in as second gentleman. Guys, how amazing is Kamala? I mean, look at her! Uh, I feel like I'm in one of those movies where Seth Rogen dates Charlize Theron. Uh, how did I get this woman? <laughs> and look, I I've heard what the right says about me just because I'm unapologetic about being a man supporting his wife. Oh, he's a beta, a wife guy, a trad huzz, a little spoon. Well, you know what? If helping Kamala, who we call Mamala in my family, not sure if I mentioned that, become president, being a little spoon, then you can cut my little butt. Doug gushed over the late night laugh fest during a recent visit to the Jennifer Hudson show. I've been watching that show my, <laughs> my whole life and the, to think that somebody's playing me, first of all, it's just so, like, wow. And then I got handed, Andy Samberg did a good job. They had, had <laughs> so he down. approved. I approve, Andy, good job. I love the uh, second gentleman line was pretty good. And his little Dougie, you know, coming Oh, so you got your little dance? Well, he had his little dance. He was like trying to do the Dougie. I don't know what that move was, but uh, okay. it was um, okay. It was pretty good. Andy, good job. Good job. Approved. <laughs> there you go. Maya Rudolph. 
She's so good as yes. Pamela. That is, um, <laughs> she did a really good job. That's a great combination. It got to be odd to be like once you were a fan of the show and now they're impersonating you. Yeah, it, it's it, like I said, so much of this is so surreal and to have to have that happen, but it was good. I thought they did a really good job. Guess life imitating art is a nonstop thing in politics.